back here at NRA National Firearms Museum here at NRA headquarters. John Pop here with Andrew Dalton and Andrew, uh, I think of Dalton, I think of Timothy Dalton and I think of Bond and I look at that gun and I think of Bond. It, it looks like something that James Bond would carry. What, what do we have here for Curator's Corner? Well, you're not too far off, John. Um, what this is is a high standard HDM. At first glance, you might think that it has a heavy bull barrel, but uh, what it actually is is an integral suppressor. Um, this gun was manufactured during World War II. Um, contracts for about 1,500 guns were given to high standard um, through the OSS, so that's the precursor to the CIA. Right. Um, to be used in the European theater behind enemy lines, special operatives and stuff special like that. Special ops and stuff like that. Um, right. So this gun is basically a, a Target 22 pistol. Uh, they took an off-the-shelf pistol and uh, created a, a suppressor system to go around the barrel. So this is integral. This is the way. Yes. The way this thing always is. It's not like we see on the movies where you, where right, you screw it exactly. on the end of the so barrel. Exactly. So if you're running around behind enemy lines, you're an OSS operative. What's the first thing that you probably is gonna, are going to need? Uh, it's going to be a suppressed pistol. Right. Now I'm going to turn it around real quick, just so we can get a glimpse of how it actually operates. Because this um, is a cutaway. Thing, right. Which this is, one, which is unfortunately. Really cool. Uh, has been deactivated, so the half of the can has been actually removed, so right. we can see the internal workings. Um, this is just a, kind of a testament of the technology at the time. Uh, we see we've got the the external tube, but inside it's basically like steel wool. Uh, it's been packed into that tube. There's about forty some odd holes been drilled into the barrel, so those gases have a chance to get into that steel mesh that's around the barrel. Right cool off, give the gases some chance to expand and cool off without making that loud crack. Mm -hmm. So this pistol is actually 90% quieter than uh, wow. the equivalent uh, just regular HD-22 pistol. So you said this is World War II era? Yes, this is World War II. So that was here, the state of the technology exactly. for a suppressor at that time. Right, and as you know, suppressors have been around for quite a long time. Here in Maxim uh, patented the, the firearm silencer uh, in the late 19th century, and this is just a continuation of that. And to continue on, you you have some other things here to show us. We're right. discussing before we go. On, well, I wanted to be here. able to compare the difference between what we had in World War II with these kind of disposable wire mesh systems. That actually, after about 250 shots, that mesh system would get so full of lead that the gun wasn't quiet anymore. So you actually remove that and installed a new one. The gun shipped with two sets of these mesh inserts that you can wow. see there through okay. the cutout. Uh, in contrast, this is a brand new production silencer co, sp uh, silencer co sparrow. Uh, and as you can see, I have it disassembled here. It actually has a monocore baffle design, and this is designed to last quite a long time. So we've come a long way. Exactly. As far as the technology, but but still impressive. 90% silencing on that. Right, yeah. And the whole idea is to be able for your uh, OSS operative to, to be behind enemy lines, uh, fighting um, the Axis powers during right. World War II and, and cool. operating without being able to be hurt. Awesome. So, Andrew, tell us, how does uh, a, a suppressor, either one of this generation or that, uh, affect the performance, the, the accuracy of, uh, how much does it affect the way the firearm uh, works? Well, a good silencer, and this gun uh, was designed to remain just as accurate, just as, um, you know, just remaining the same performance as the standard pistol. Right, no muzzle uh, velocity. No vo stuff. muzzle velocity. It was designed to be used with standard velocity 22 ammunition, so there's little to no report, uh, and uh, muzzle flash is virtually eliminated as well. But you still maintain the same accuracy and muzzle velocities that you do with the pistol without the suppressor on it. Pretty good stuff. Very nice, Andrew. So how can folks come and see this kind of stuff here at the uh, National Firearms Museum? Well, we're open seven days a week here at NRA headquarters uh, on Waples Mill Road, just off of 66. Uh, we're open every day of the year except uh, Christmas and New Year's, I think. Christmas um, and then all the time on the web. Right, all the time on the web, and that's uh, www.nramuseums.com. Andrew, thank you. Really neat stuff for Curator's Corner. I look forward to seeing you again for the next installment of Curator's Corner. I'll see you then. Thank you.